2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Certainly excited to see this one. Strap yourselves in. And let's see what he can do here today. Handy effort, that one. Second shot here on the first. Should find the green here. What a skillful approach shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. A birdie putter waits. Nice stroke. And there it is. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Currently one under for the event. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Quality shot, that one. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's got roughly 110 to the pin here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Outstanding approach shot. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. This putt's about four feet from the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Birdied their last hole. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Oh, that was pure. Lining up from around 160 yards. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. There's part of about six feet coming up. That's inside the range. And now at three under overall. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. That one's heading down Broadway. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Coe's up to? It's been so tight. She's tied here with her rival. And can she pull ahead now? Trying to get it to four under with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one might need to sit. Not bad. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She got one back on that last hole. New Zealand's Lydia Ko setting up her next shot. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Wow, what a shot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you smack talk golf style.
Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And a fantastic look upcoming. They're lining up the birdie putt here. If he holds this, Lydia Ko gets behind and he can potentially get on a roll in this rivalry. Currently six under for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? She's one stroke behind her rival in this event. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, how good is that? Buries it for birdie as well. And that'll certainly help her chances here. Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Nicely done. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Some lovely momentum for this player, moving up the leaderboard. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Great looking shot, this. Yeah, nicely played. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Looking really good. That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down, she's behind. Her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Super shot, that. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, that celebration, that's a little spicy. I don't know if these two are going to be talking now. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Yep, yeah, that'll work, that's fine. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. going with the hybrid yeah that one's looking good oh what a lovely shot he'll be delighted to be inside the range there a spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part Just missed. 
Oh, how good was that? Almost an eagle. Currently nine under for the round. The 10th, the TPC Sutherland, is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes. Not overly long at 420 yards. You're just trying to avoid any trouble off the tee so you can get a clear shot at this green. A chance to begin the back nine with a birdie. That was absolutely murdered. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Oh, almost went in. Just putting on a ball striking clinic, it seems today, Rich. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Job done. Let's head to the next. Now four back after that hole. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Got to like their chances from there. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. It's time now to take a look at Lydia Ko. This is looking pretty good in the air. Oh, don't tell me. Did she hold that? And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Justin Thomas is our current leader. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's two strokes behind her rival this week. Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. Oh, beautiful touch there from just off the green. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 12th. This should play. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. A chance to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard here. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And what a way to jump into the top 10. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach.
already with a couple of wins under their belt. But this player is really going after it here, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. A spot in the top five on the line here. Looking great now. Okay, steady now. Putting for birdie here. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Going with the pitching wedge here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, right by the hole. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Coe's up to? Yeah, she's confident now. Just came off of Eagle. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Oh, wow, Rich, how good was that? Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Well, that'll play, and that puts him into the top five for the tournament. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. 
However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Look at that. I think he likes it. Oh, that was a boss move off that tee. Found the green in one shot. An eagle chance coming up. That a way to stay aggressive. Great play. Well home for Eagle. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Opting for the six iron. This one is right down the pipe. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. A shot of the day. Well, that'll move her up the leaderboard as well. And tapping it home for the eagle. Great golf. He's currently in a share of top spot. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three measuring just under 200 yards from the tips. The green shapes hard right to left towards that water hazard. Make sure you're clever at shaping your ball or don't take on any hole location that's tucked in near to the water. Looks to be going with the six iron. Good sounding strike that one. Wow, what a shot. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Now leading by one shot. The 18th at TPC Sumlin is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. That's tiny. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125-yard marker just nearby. This one's got eyes for the flagstick. That one just slides by. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Ouch, that hurts. This is a par putt. And with that putt, concludes this play.